Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Luxurious Lee. So I got a package from um, Neutrogena and Influencer. So we're gonna open this together. It says, for your best hair ever. And I don't know if this is their, I think it's their new product that they launched. So we're, we're gonna open this and see it together. So it says, Neutrogena Healthy Scalp Shampoo and Conditioner Scalp Care for your best hair ever. It says Neutrogena for your best hair ever. And it is the shampoo and conditioner with the pink grapefruit. I was sitting here looking at it, so don't mind me. So it is the Healthy Scalp Clarify and Shine and Healthy, okay, they're both Healthy Scalp Clarify. It is Healthy Shine Clarify and Shine. So it says we're gonna try this product and review them on influencer. Then we're gonna post tag Neutrogena Hashtag NTF Clarify and Shine. So this is the box. Let's open it. My tissue paper. And there are two beautiful healthy scalp and clarify and shine shampoo with pink grapefruit. So let's get the shampoo one out. This is the shampoo. This is the shampoo one. Nice bottle. It is a uh, 354 milligrams to 12 ounce. It says Neutrogena. It says non-medicated, sulfide free, and that's good because I'm allergic to sulfate. Sulfate. And it says for oily hair, helps to clarify, remove, reduce, and add shine. And then here is the Neutrogena Healthy Scalp Clarifying Shine Conditioner with Grapefruit. It says the same thing, and it says non-medicated gentle formula. So. Here are the two bottles, and we're about to use those right now. Okay, as you see in this clip right here, I do not have any edges, honey. I mean, I do not have none. I really never really had edges, but they did grow back a while back. And as you see on one side, there is more hair than the other. My mom does not have edges, so of course, that's where I get it from. But, okay, we're going to skip over that. <laughs> um... So right now, I'm actually taking this lace glue out, taking out these braids. As y'all can see, the braids are not even braids no more. They just there. And most of my hair is like a ball at the top. I had a lace wig on, and I'm going to do a review on that wig a little later. And um, as you can see, that my hair is not healthy. It is not put together. Okay, in this clip, y'all see that I'm showing you guys this other shampoo and conditioner I use. I'm going to put the name in the description box. It's all mango, and I love the smell of it. Um, it does make my hair soft. The oil does make my hair feel good, and it has been growing with it. And I love it. I actually got that from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Right here in this clip, all I'm doing is just testing the water. Okay, y'all know we got to make sure our water is warm enough for our head where that shit will burn or it will freeze the hell out your head. So I'm just taking a wig, brush, combing the naps out. As y'all see, my hair is horrible. I want to start over and... Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start over and do a big chop for the summer. But I don't know because I, I've been recently wearing braids. And, you know, like if your hair is short, it's hard to braid it. And I braid my own hair. So I'm not sure. And then, like, okay, big surprise, everybody. I'm about to have a baby. Um, five months pregnant. And it's like, I do not want to deal with, you know, the short hair and trying to maintain it right now. Like, I'm not saying that I'm lazy, but we y'all women know when you were pregnant you are just your energy level is just not there sometimes so i actually just been putting braids in my head it's easy to maintain wake up in the morning just do my edges if i'm going anywhere put some oil in it and i do put mousse on every other day to make sure you know keep those little flyaways down but other than that yeah i just don't know yet if i really want to chop my hair I did chop it, um, what, two years ago, and then I dyed it like a greenish blue color, and I did finger waves on my hair, and then I was just wearing it short for a while, and it grew back. It was actually going back very good. Like I said, I had the weight loss surgery, and I do have PCOS, so it did kind of make my hair fall out more. My edges did not grow back that much but they grew back enough where i can do certain styles or ponytails uh, um 
like I said, do the finger waves and stuff like that. So I'm just rinsing this conditioner. I mean, the shampoo out, not conditioner. I'm just rinsing this shampoo out, and then I'm just gonna add the conditioner in my hair and do the same thing. But I actually let the conditioner sit. I don't know who who lets that conditioner sit in their hair for a couple of maybe a couple of hours, probably 30 minutes, so that you can get that deep conditioning. Sometimes I do blow dry it. I don't have this sit under blow dryer yet. I'm going to get one. So you know. I'm just using my hand dryer for now, and I'm gonna show y'all my little collection. It's all white and rose gold, which I love. So I'm just um, talking to y'all about the conditioner or whatever. Um, everything smells so good. It is grapefruit, and like I said at the beginning, I'm not sure if this is their new collection at Walmart, but I'm sh I know it's at Walmart, Target. Um, I'm not sure if it's if it's if it's in the beauty supply. Most likely, most likely it is, but the main places I know is Target. I did see it on Amazon. I did see it at Walmart. Well, of course Walmart, but um, I'm not sure if it's at Walgreens, but most likely it is. And then of course their website. And I got this actually from Influencer, and I'm gonna tell you guys more about that in a second. I'm just cleaning up my sink and making sure that I got all the hair and gunk or whatever out because I do not like mess and I hate when stuff is in disarray. But I'm just putting it in the conditioner and I'm going to leave that in for about an hour to 30 minutes. And I'm just showing you guys that it does make my hair feel good. It did kind of make my curls back just to come back just a little bit, but like I said, I did have a perm, so my hair texture, my original hair texture, which is very curly, would not come back until I do a big chop. Okay, you guys, so this is what my hair looks like afterwards. I just put a lace front wig on. I was going to put braids, but I'm like, okay, I just want to put my wig back on. So this is how it looks. Um, I think I got better pictures. I'm going to have to look. But this is how it looks and this is the wig i got it's a four by four body wave lace closure it's human hair it is pre-plucked and bleached um it is 20 inches i got natural black the hair was amazing but i'm gonna go deep into it in a separate video okay you guys so i said i was gonna come back and do an ending and tell you about influencer so this is how i have my hair now I just got finished with it. It's okay. My sister did the front braids. I'm still practicing. Don't mind the food back there, that's baby's food. I'm still practicing with my braids. So I put beads on the end of the zigzag. And the, this is supposed to be a hard we try, but you know, we're not braided. But I am buying a mannequin and I'm going to start braiding soon. I'm actually gonna start doing people hair because I like to braid and I'm, I actually enjoy it even while being pregnant. So, but that's another video about that. But, um, right back to Influencer. Influencer is, it's not a subscription base, but you can technically say that. What you are doing is basically reviewing products that are coming out or sometimes they may have been out but they are doing a relaunch or something so basically what you're doing is you're reviewing the products making videos sometimes they don't say you don't have to make a video but like me if you are trying to be a content creator that is perfect you get free products coming in and you can record videos post reviews etc etc I, this, okay, I've had Dior boxes, um, Neutrogena, which is what you guys just watched, um, Kat Von D, Mother Nature, and a lot more, so I can't really name them right now. They, I did have food. I have had, um clothing like socks and stuff and they do do like shoes they actually your shoe size they actually your clothing size it just depends on how big you are and how much traffic you get on your social media platforms because i have seen huge youtubers get bigger boxes with better items and full types full size items some people have gotten gucci and then they're not even really you know content creators or huge youtubers and i have seen them get um 
big boxes. It just depends on what fits you. So what, what you will do is you're gonna log on to Influencer and you're just gonna hit sign up. You're gonna ask, answer a, a series of questions. I'm not gonna say a few because it does take some time. So I would just say, if you can take 20 minutes out your day to sign up, it's free to sign up. <laughs> Sorry, it's itching right now. It's free to sign up. No hassle, put your address in or your PO box. Now, whatever you have, put that in as your mailing so that they can send you the products. And keep a lookout in your email. I, I get box box emails every other day. And all you do is you're gonna click on the email, fill out the thing, they're gonna ask you some questions. So what is your skin, what is your foundation color? Or are you interested in reviewing makeup? Are you interested in viewing a new food and sometimes they don't actually send the food because some foods are refrigerated so they will send a coupon where you get the item free and you go to the store and pick it up i had those and most of the time i forget about the coupon and never go get the item but you live and you learn and of course you do you know use a planner or whatever like i use my ipad okay let me show you guys I use my iPad. I have the um, iPad Pro, the new one that just came out in purple. And then I have the uh, second generation Apple pen. I just put a little case on it because sometimes it does hurt my finger holding it. So I use that and I'm starting to plan more, plan my life more and try to be more organized. So um, what else? That's all you really have to do. And just make sure when you do, you know, if they do send you products, just make sure that you do review those products. You do write a review on their website. And sometimes they'll say, all you gotta do is write a review on their website and Sephora. Or they'll be like, hey, do you mind posting this on TikTok? No, you, and you, you know, if you do mind posting it on TikTok, just say, I mind. But if you don't, you know, just click you don't make your video, post it on TikTok, and like me, post it on YouTube. I did a review for the Neutrogena on TikTok. I will put my TikTok in the description box below, my Instagram, and of course, you guys watching this on YouTube, so you know my YouTube name. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Number, thing, one, number one thing, subscribe to my channel because your girl is lit. Like, I just actually started back doing YouTube. I have been a little down about it drained so i'm gonna do videos every other day and then i'm gonna you know come on in i'm gonna tell you guys my post dates for right now we're gonna post this one today on sunday so sunday for sure is gonna be a post date um and then i'll let you know further post dates i'll put it in my bio and let you guys know so yeah go sign up it's free products and most of the time I do get full products like Dior lipstick I had got yeah, two I have got a red one I think that was 0 0.99 and 100 which is new and I have went back and bought me another new I bought the matte, matte nude I had the satin and then I went to go buy the matte I love them they don't they don't leave if you wipe it out they don't leave the stuff on there but they are not Sorry. And not waterproof and if you kiss your hand like it comes off on your hand so it's not stain proof none of that but it is some good lipstick it smells good and I mean it does last long sometimes of course when you're eating you're gonna have to you know put it back on but other than that I do like it and I think I did a video about it I'm not sure if not I will do one because I love that Dior and I love their perfume. Um, I actually have a Dior tote bag, but I love their perfume and I love their lipstick. Okay, um, I'm trying to think what else I'm going to say or tell you guys. I don't think it's nothing more, but like I said, I do have a few more videos coming up. I do have a weight loss video and me being pregnant with PCOS and just recently having the weight loss and having hydronitis coming up. I'm gonna do it real soon. It's just, like I said, 
I have not had the energy or the patience to do it. It's just the hormones. But um, now in my second trimester, everything has slowed down. My energy level has went up because one thing about me is I don't like mess, so I would get up and clean up, okay? So I feel like if I can get up and clean up, do my hair, take a shower and stuff, I can make a video and post it and edit it. You know, even though editing does take time, but if I gotta sit on the couch with my, my toddler, he's to ring, edit, run up to him, cook him lunch, cook him dinner, I can post because I'm not gonna say that I have been lazy, but I have been tired. Um, I still get stuff done other than that, but you, you guys know, women, you know that sometimes you just have to, okay, settle down, take it easy. But I'm gonna end it here. Um, I have more videos coming up, so stay tuned, you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And again, subscribe to my channel because you're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out on my journey. You're gonna miss out. So go ahead, subscribe, share, have your friends share, have your family share, have them subscribe, all of that. This split channel. And y'all probably like, girl, where's your energy now? I don't have any, but I'm getting this video done. And yeah, I just finished braiding my hair. Uh, I'm watching, uh, what is this? Legacies or whatever it's called on Netflix. I'm in season two, episode 13, almost done with that. So yeah, again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that button, that red button, so you guys can get my notification when I post. Bye. Hello everybody, I'm, uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in Ross today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in Ross today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um. Let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw one in Burlington, so I'm probably have to go back. But um, let's see what they get. Okay, hello everybody. I'm uh, I came in lost today. I'm looking for a pink computer share. I saw 